Hola, mi gente. Salud tout le monde. What's going on? On today's episode of Bill's Comfort Food, we're going to do lighter supper and lighter lunch ideas. It's better to eat light. The weather's getting hotter. Why not? Let's check it out. So today I made a feta cheese calzone. I basically baked it off at 450 for 30 minutes. But the procedure is this. Make the dough, let it ferment for about three to four hours, roll it out into a big circle, prepare a filling, and then you put a smaller circle of filling inside the dough, fold it in half, and you bake it. So use anything you want, fish, veggies, whatever. Just keep it light. Put all this in a bowl, mix it, you got your filling. As you see, it's very windy, but get a good look. So here I'm going to do a vegetable chowder. Very similar to a fish chowder or clam chowder, what have you. It's basically a soup that has milk, potato, and celery as the base. Now here you'll notice I'm cooking out some garlic and butter. Now this is done at a low temperature because you don't want to burn it because it'll make everything bitter and you don't want that in your soup. Now this is basically a hearty, high fiber type of soup, but it does the trick. Step number two, we add some potatoes and celery Sweat it off a little bit, then we're going to cover it and let it cook for eight minutes. Now we add some vegetable stock for our soup. It's easy to make, it's lighter than meat or chicken stock. And if you recall, I had an episode where I took all the peels and whatnot, put it in a pressure cooker. It's easy to make. Use it. Here we're adding milk to our chowder. Now it's always important to remember that you never get the heat too high when you're using a milk product. It might cause a split or a skin to form. Also, if you're allergic to milk, substitute it with coconut milk. Make it like a Caribbean chowder. So now we're gonna add some beans to our chowder. Give it a little bit of protein. Instead of fish or clams or what have you, we're using beans this time. It's a good option. Then you follow it up with corn, add a little sweetness, a little bit of fiber. It's all good. So add a bit of salt and pepper to your taste and that pretty much does it. You'll have a very hearty, vegetable chowder ready to go full of fiber fills you up but it's not too heavy so i had this big watermelon on sale and i ate a whole lot of it but i didn't want to let it go to waste so i decided to make a granita from all the leftover bits of melon we'll see how it goes so I added some fresh ginger, some allspice, and a small piece of dried lavender from the garden to my granita. Give it a little spiciness, a little floral, and then a good balance. And then I'm gonna add a bit of wildflower honey. So we put our fruit, lavender, allspice, and ginger in a blender. So now I'm adding a little bit of wildflower honey just to bump up the sweetness a little bit. Melons are mostly water and a tiny bit of honey won't kill it. On top of which it prevents it from freezing rock solid in the freezer.
Everything got buzzed up in the blender. Now I'm pouring it in a long, low container. Now, why am I doing that? Well, if it's too tall, it takes longer to freeze it all the way through in the center and it's tougher to break up. And this, quicker and it scrapes easier. And try it with cantaloupe, honeydew, berries, whatever you have available to you. Basically, you put it in the freezer, let it sit until it's solid, grab a fork, grab a spoon, scrape it away for coarse, or put it in a blender or a food processor, buzz it up a bit until it's fine. Either way, it's light, it's refreshing, and it's natural. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon.